Welcome back you guys and today I'm going to be teaching you the easiest way to make coins right now in FIFA 23 So if you're new around here and you don't have many coins make sure to subscribe and of course drop a like down below Because there's also going to be a giveaway at 13k and we are very very close So if you want to get your entries in get them in early make sure to subscribe because we will run through What you need to do very soon and there will be some big items up for grabs So make sure to subscribe and of course if you want some coins in a quicker way well So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game Then right now you you need to head over to skycoach.gg not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it so guys, we are going to start off looking at the Trophy Titans icons. Now, a lot of these methods are going to be a little bit higher value. We will, of course, as always, have some cheaper ones in. But if you are looking to go from like a really low point, maybe you're at 5 or 10k, you can go over to the 0 to 100k from a couple of days ago. It's going to get you exactly where you need to be in order to make yourself some more profit. Now, of course, if you have only like 30, 40k, you'll be good to do a, quite a few of the methods in this video. But there are still going to be some higher budgets. Now, this one here, we're starting off with Trophy Titans icon, Netherlands and Forward. Why are we doing that? because I actually packed Van Basten uh, earlier which is obviously on the shorts channel so go check that out um, he's not great in game I'll be honest a bit disappointed um, was hoping he might be but um, he's a very cheap icon there's only actually two of them who are Netherlands and Trophy Titans you've got Bergkamp and then you've got Van Basten so Bergkamp obviously is a bit more expensive but he's acquirable on this filter so at 180 I think you're probably pretty set um, with this guy here not much at 170 or 170 five i would say 180 is a fair place to, to argue we're going to sell him now ea tax on that is 9k so it's basically 10 we obviously want to make profit there so i would say 160 is a reasonable point we've missed one but we've literally found one straight away i think that is a dub in itself because it shows how easy this filter is going to be obviously um you, you can probably hear the pain in my voice we got one we got one that was incredibly easy well, that's a dub. And similarly, you can take yourself over to centre back and just no nation there. And at about, I think, 340, maybe 360, maybe a little bit more. And we're getting this slightly off. 380, you will find Blanc. Now, there are a few other centre backs. We've also got Ferdinand. You've also got, I believe, Baresi. Now, Baresi, I think, is the one you're more likely to get a little bit of a good snipe on because I think Baresi is usually a cheaper icon. So he's one I think there's going to be a better chance of mistakes, really. So we're looking at 380 here. You've got two pages. Obviously, EA tax on that is going to be hefty. You're looking at about 20k for EA tax. So you realistically want to go there. So 340, you're making 20k profit, 20k obviously EA tax there. Yes, it's a very, very big chunk of my current budget. And so for those of you guys with slightly less coins, you're probably gonna be happy to see the next few filters as we won't be able to do many more like this. But it is a good filter. It is one that you're going to have to maybe spend a bit more time on. I would I would say about all of these because you've got a bigger profit. That is the case. But you really need to. I mean, you saw Van Basten. We got, what was it, 10k profit off of him. We saw two in the space of less than a minute. So you can imagine you can probably make, I mean, if you're making 10k every minute or so, that's, a, that's you know, that's millions of coins in an hour or a million coins in an hour. This one, you are making 20k per card. Expect to wait a little bit longer. It might be two minutes, three minutes between cards. But when you get one, you're absolutely laughing. Now, of course, you probably all know that you can just get some trophy titan icons for 20k if you do want to get those slap that on it's a filter from a couple videos but if you're new around here and you haven't seen that it's very very good now of course we do need to look at the heroes too popping in forward popping in the max price of about 40k and you're going to find yourself sat on Scholzer and donovan so nice little filter both of them pretty much sat at 40k right now um i would say we could probably even potentially squeeze a 41 out of them. They are very new cards. There isn't too many pages. 41, yeah, that seems about, about right, to be honest. 10% EA tax, sorry, 5%, but we work out 10. So 4.1 halves. It's 2,050 coins uh, off the top of my head. Yeah, 2,050. So we go 2,000. Uh, then we go, that's 200 coin profit. So if you go to there, that's 950 coin profit. Oh, there's a couple there. I don't like, I never like picking up cards when there's a couple there. It's a little bit of a red flag for me in the in the trading. We're gonna go down to 37 because we wanna guarantee, oh, I feel like, uh, hmm, not sure how I feel about that. I'm hoping, uh, I think I've obviously read that wrong a little bit. I think we've got it right. It just be that might be that they're dropping as we're doing it, but I'm hoping that one should sell for 41. 
Worst case, 40, which means we've still made a K profit, which isn't bad. But let's see if we can get a 36 just to kind of send it home a bit. Uh, okay, they're, they've all... Uh, no, we want a 36, not a 36, 750. Come on. That's... I mean, if we sell it for 41, that's, what, a 3K profit? Oh, we've got one. We've done it. Right, okay, that was good. That was good. Very easy. I think... I've always said these icon cards were easiest. I wish they'd use shoulder a bit. Like, I don't know what... I know five-star skills is a bit rogue, but if they'd given him that... I mean, I hope he doesn't have that. I'm not being dumb. But if they'd given him that, we'd be looking at something that I can put up top of Harlem and actually be happy with. But the... What we got? Oh, we did... Okay, well, I'm wrong. That's just... just it, why is he not more? What the hell? Now, because of a certain Greenish inform, we can also go over to the Premier League, go over to Man City and look at their informs again. Now, Grealish is actually 18k. You've got Foden, Mares, and Grealish under this one. Now, you don't have to do Gold Team of the Week. You can just do Special. That one's also going to find you. Your Phillips there. Um, you've also got... I don't know if we've got any cheaper cards here. Um, Cancelo is expensive. Laporte is quite expensive. Bernardo Silva is still a ridiculous one. So, to be fair, you, you've still got quite a big price on a lot of those cards. But, on the bottom end, you've got our Grealish here is there is he actually wow he's the cheapest one the most recent card he's the cheapest one but what we got in turn oh oh we've missed that would have been a good snipe I, I think he's going for like 19k I think from the looks of things 19 19 out of push really I think that's the best we're going to get for him EA tax is about a k um we'll make a k as well so 17 that 16 would have been a 2k profit a little bit gutting we've missed that but we've missed a few good ones here I think that we can still I think we can still do some bits. I think we've still got a few coins to make. I mean, we made some off of the icons there. We've done a Van Basten. Um, and I, I have decided... I don't know what is SVC, but he's definitely... The one I've, I've packed on Tradable is definitely getting launched into an SVC. I'm getting tempted by a few things, but I need to... Marquisio was brilliant for me when I had the base hero. Oh, we took a 17,250, right? Because the year tax on 19k is just under a k, right? And that's just under... A, I think that's like 700 coins profit, which isn't bad. Like, it's not great, but it's not bad. Now, we can also take ourselves over to Medina and do a filter just on him. Now, I know that sounds silly, but he's got so many special cards now. I don't know if it's one, two, or three, but he's got enough where we can do a filter on him because he's just got a decent amount. So... Now, moving on, we've got Medina. Now, right now, you can actually do a method just on him on his own because he's got a couple of special cards here. You've got the 88 and the 86. They're not really, really close in price, but they're also not worlds apart. So you can snipe both of them on the same filter. If you go to about 25K, you've got the 86 there. Now, realistically, that is a snipe. Now, unless EA is scamming us with, I, I feel like you guys probably know by now, sometimes when you go on the market, it doesn't show you all the cards because EA are massive scammers. But I think it was showing us all the cards. I'm pretty sure that's what he goes for. But I'm, I'm hoping we've not taken what would be a sizable L. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so there's not really many pages of them. I think 25 is a reasonable sell point for him as well. So, okay, brilliant. Right, we're looking good. So 25 EA tax on that is 1,250. So even there, you're making 750 coins profit. That's not bad at all. I would say 22,750. We've seen a couple, so it's reliable that we're going to get um, a couple at that. So we can do that. You saw there's been a load coming and going while we've been sniping. I'd say because he's got two cards, he's a really good source of profit there. 22,250. Um, so that's quite a bit over a K there. So nice little profit off of that one as well. I think that's just over what's that 1500 coins of profit so that's decent now i'm not going to spend as much time on it but as you can see very similar similar situation with di lorenzo very close in terms of the rating for these informs so once again really easy to pick both of these up we won't do too much but i will give an attempt at a snipe just because of how close the prices are there we could get an absolute worldie you're looking at about from the looks of things 36 for the lower one let's have a look 36 there might even be as low as 30 so there is maybe what 10k between the two cards so 30k, EA tax on that. If we sell at 31, which it looks like there's... Mm, I'd say 30 is probably the mark then, really. So 1.5k EA tax. If we go down to there, you're looking at a K profit. I reckon we can pick one up pretty quickly. Now, we did get defeated by the last filter, but I think we're going to have this one in the bag. So you've got... Graven Barch, you've got Delicts, I think three or four special cards. You've also got his ones to watch, which I think is actually worth something, maybe. Uh, but yeah, you're mostly looking at Graven Birch, and then the higher Delicts would be the, the ideal here. Obviously, the lower Delicts is going to be in the mix there, so you're going to get him quite a few times. But they're 
close enough in value now graven bench would be a brilliant snipe uh, but you've got a chance it so it's a good little fill here created by multiple multiple special cards from the both so 24k there looks like it's not a bad shout ea tax would be 1.2 so it'll bring us down to here you'd probably want to go minimum of about there probably for profit so you are just hoping on the the delict being listed very low if someone puts the new delict up you are absolutely laughing You've got a better chance, I think, Graven Birch or the older Delict, like the one in between this one and the newest one. So nice little filler here, which will just build up your profit very easily. Um, I think using older special cards and using older informs and stuff is quite a good way forward for finding new filters because sometimes it does get a bit difficult, especially with the way they're running it now. It's very, uh, the, you know, the filters are quite sparse. I think especially with new promos, they almost don't put things in the same category so it's a little bit harder to find like they won't have the same league and nation or they won't have the same club or they won't have the you know you won't have a lot of people with the same nation and position area um i don't know if that's intentional but it just kind of seems every promo it does happen but we're gonna leave it there i hope you've enjoyed and i haven't wasted too much of your time i hope you guys enter the giveaway and i'll see you tomorrow